With Jeremy St. Louis, I'm Chris Hassel. Last night we had the home run derby. Yep. Vladdy Jr., who was the second betting favorite, won that. Tonight, he's on that American League squad. He's going to help his team try to extend a streak, Jeremy, that dates back to when all-star games determine home field advantage in the World Series. Remember right. that? Back in 2012. Yes. Yeah. It's been a long time, over 10 years now, as the American League goes for a 10th straight win over the NL. Yeah, and uh, it's it's going to be a fantastic game tonight. Uh, we know T-Mobile Park is the venue. Uh, Zach Gallen, the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, starting for the National League. It'll be Garrett Cole. Uh, Yankees versus Diamondbacks, which is uh, what the pitching matchup was when they last met yeah. in Seattle uh, way back when. So you take a look at some of the notes here. In terms of uh, some of the betting notes, the run line, American League, uh, minus one and a half. That's uh, plus 180 for that. And the over-under sitting at seven and a half runs. That's a, that's, a, that, that's a touchy bet. I'm not sure if I would take that or not because of the fact that we have so much power on the field, but all-star games are different. The score could be low, but we'll see. Let's welcome in our MLB insider, Jim Bowden, who is in Seattle. And uh, Jim, there's, a, there's just a, a, a romanticism that surrounds uh, baseball in this country. It is, it is unequaled by any other sport. And when you talk about the All-Star game, it's one of those things that you love to wax poetic about. I know you have just loved being in Seattle for all of the festivities so far. For you, though, Jim, what makes the MLB All-Star game uniquely different from similar events in other sports? Yeah, I and mean, that's a great point. I mean, because when you look at the other All-Star games in other sports, the NFL's All-Star game or the Pro Bowl is so bad that it became flag football this year. I mean, a joke, really unwatchable. The NHL All-Star game, the skills competition's fun to watch, but the actual game, kind of a joke. And in the NBA, you know, it's fun to see all the offense and everybody shoot, but nobody plays defense. Nobody tries to win the game. And then Whoever wins the MVP, a lot of times is whatever star the league wants to win the MVP. So it's just not a good all-star game. Major League Baseball, by far, has been the best all-star game of the major sports. Not even close. But I will say this. I think it was better when the game mattered. I think it was better when the, the team that won got home field advantage in the World Series. I, I really do. I thought it, it brought intensity and it brought more pressure. Um, the new rules, though... Uh, the way the MLB runs the All-Star game now is just an exhibition game. And, you know, I was talking to Rob Thompson, the manager of the National League and the Philadelphia Phillies yesterday on the field before the home run derby. And I was asking him, questioning about his lineup, questioning about how he was going to hand the bullpen. And he told me the two things he's concerned about the most is getting everybody in at bat and keeping everybody healthy. And that kind of tells you how the kind of the game has changed. The focus isn't necessarily on winning as much as let's let everyone get in and show off what they can do. That being said, the Major League Baseball All-Star game clearly is the most competitive of the four major sports. And it's so interesting too. I mean, you make a great point in that that the other leagues have tried to have tried to make it a game that counts towards something whereas MLB has kind of gone the other way and turned it back into an exhibition but it still remains one of the great uh, fixtures of the summer. Uh, in North America. All right, let's talk about this game. The American League has won nine straight All-Star games. They have five players from the highest scoring team in baseball in their starting lineup, two players from the second highest scoring team, and the leading home run hitter in the league. Uh, Jim, tell me where the weakness is here in this lineup. Well, there's no weakness in this lineup, and what you are alluding to is seven of the nine players are either from the Texas Rangers or Tampa Bay Rays. Five of the nine are from the Rangers, including three infielders, Second baseman Marcus Simeon, shortstop Corey Seager, and the rookie third baseman Josh Young. And this American League lineup, of course, is highlighted by Shohei Otani, who is having the best single season we have ever seen a player have in the history of baseball since the game was invented. We have never seen a player uh, be an ace and dominate the middle of the lineup the way Shohei Otani has. And we all really have to stop and watch it during this game today. The other thing that stands out in this lineup is the lineup is loaded with hitters over power. And that is a good formula when you're in an all-star game. Because in an all-star game, you're only facing elite pitching. You're not going to get a six-inning reliever that you can feast on, right? You're going to get either aces or you're going to get closers, one or the other, or an impact setup guy. And so what you want in a game like this is guys that hit 300, guys that put the ball in play. And certainly this American League lineup has that from top to bottom. 
The National League certainly has star power in their starting lineup. I mean, you look at those names, Acuna, Freeman, and Betts are going to test Garrett Cole right off the bat, uh, pun intended. Where can Cole even try to get to these guys? Yeah, I talked to Garrett Cole on the field uh, yesterday, and I asked him how he's going to approach it. And he said to me, well, I better hit my spots. I better make sure uh, I hit the black. And I asked him particularly, how are you going to pitch to Ronald Acuna Jr.? And he said, I have no idea because when I look at his heat map, the entire map is red. And that's exactly what Acuna has done this year. He is the best player in baseball that doesn't have the name Shohei Otani. There's nothing he can't do. He became the first player in baseball history to hit 20 homers, steal 40 bags, and drive in 50 runs heading to the All-Star game. That's how good he has been. Now, I don't particularly like the lineup in terms of the batting order. I asked Rob Thompson, the manager, about it yesterday. I told him he should have had a rise hit second. Guys hit almost 400 all year. Why wouldn't you put him in between Acuna and Betts and drop Freeman to fourth? I also told him he should have flip-flopped R.C. and Carroll at the bottom of the lineup so that Carroll and Acuna could have been back-to-back with all the speed that they have. But his answer to me was, well, I wanted Martinez to hit four because I plan on using that spot in the order to get everybody in at bat, and it was important to happen in the four spot. Oh, okay. In other words, we're building the lineup to make sure we are ready for substitutions rather than putting the best possible order in place. That's okay. That's fine. As you mentioned, the top of this lineup is better than the American League's. If the National League ends up winning this game for the first time in 10 tries, it will, because the, it will be because the top of this lineup did the damage in this game. Well, Jim, there are a number of fun prop plays for the All-Star game, as always. And we've said previously, look, don't bet the farm here. We're just talking about pizza money. So in terms of either side scoring a run in the first inning, are you betting that there is a run or that they're scoreless after one at bat each? No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely putting the money on a run being scored. And, and I, I kind of feel like if you want to get more specific, I kind of feel like Garrett Cole is going to give up a home run to Ronald Acuna to start the game. I mean, there couldn't be a better script than that. And I wouldn't mind in the bottom of the first inning if Shohei Otani took Zach Gellin deep. I mean, that would just be as romantic as you can possibly get. But th- look, these lineups are really good. And I just kind of feel like either the AO or the NL will get a first inning run. So I'm going to put it on that. Certainly, as a fan, you want to see some runs right from the get-go. All right, Jim, so who do you like to win this edition of the Midsummer Classic? Who are you taking here? Well, the American League's won nine in a row, and as I said before, I like the fact that their lineup top to bottom is just filled with guys that can hit good pitching, and that's really rare to get. So I'm going to go with uh, Dusty Baker, who is the defending world champion manager, who I also believe is going to manage to try to win this game more than Rob Thompson is based on listening to both of them (laughs) yesterday. And so I guess between the lineup and Dusty, I'm going American League wins their 10th in a row. Okay, and what about the total here? I mean, it's at 7.5. The last time that the game was in Seattle back in 2001, only five runs were scored. So how do you like a play on the total here over or under the 7.5? Oh, I hate this. I can't believe you went there. You know, (laughs) Las Vegas is so good at setting these numbers. Like, it is ridiculous how close they are. I mean, if I had to set it, I would have set it at seven and a half. I'm actually going to take the under here. Um, I don't feel good about it, I'll be honest, but I I do love the pitching. Um, So I'm I'm, going to sit there and say it's a five to two game, American League wins, and the under hits. Yeah, it's just pizza money, Jim. We're not not throwing big dollars at this, just a little pizza money. As long as I get a veggie and not a pepperoni, I'm with you. (laughs) Okay, uh, one last question, not necessarily a bet, but just uh, your personal opinion. Who do you like to win the MVP? I'm going to go with Shohei Otani. I mean, look, he he is a unicorn. He is the... Uh, right now, having the best season of any human being ever. Uh, there's going to be a, a huge storyline between this All-Star game and the August 1st trade deadline. Is Otani getting traded? Isn't he getting traded? I and mean, we'll be talking about that on CBS uh, HQ literally every day between now and actually the first. He is the biggest storyline in this sport individually. And I would see nothing better to happen since he's not pitching in this game because of the blister. I think it would be nothing better that he gets a home run and gets the MVP. How great would that be? So I'll go with Shohei. Showtime at the All-Star game. Jim, this is one of those days when you can't believe that they call this work. Enjoy everything about the day today. Have fun at the game. Great stuff for us in Seattle. Thanks for joining us here on HQ. And in terms of some of the notable dates, so we have the All-Star game tonight. So Jim's taking the AL. Chris, what do you think? I mean, they've won nine straight. I 
I'm taking them. You're taking them? Hey, yeah. Hey, you're going with the American I keep going. I'll go National League. I mean, I, I, I'm just going to go the opposite way. I'll go National League. They, uh, they uh, end the drought tonight. Uh, season resumes on July the 14th. This is that wilderness week that we call it where, you know, there's really just not a lot, not a lot of sport going on. Uh, trade deadline coming up 6 p.m. Eastern time on August the 1st. Jim said we'll be talking about that after this is all done. And then October 1st, already looking at the last day of the regular season.